Greetings, picky eaters! I am here at home under community quarantine. I'm so blessed that in my village there are a few convenience stores, including 7 Eleven, because I've been dying to try this new chef's creations by Mana, which is only available in 7 Eleven. Thankfully, this morning I was able to get one. So, Madam released two items on their chef's creations. Now, the first one is a beef kare kare. They call it Manam Express kare kare. Why am I excited about this? Guys, if you know what Manam is, if you know how amazing their food is, you would be excited too. And if you haven't heard of Manam, I don't know where the hell you guys have been. It is clearly one of the best restaurants in the country. And I'm saying that no sponsorship or anything like that. It's flat out love for the restaurant. This is their beef kare kare. It is made with beef strips in savory peanut sauce, served with steamed rice and bagoong on the side. Believe it or not, this is convenience store food. But then again, it's not hard to believe because 7-Eleven has been very innovative when it comes to their food. Here in the Philippines, no? they had a, a series by Chef Claude. There was another one also I saw before, like some Japanese chef with some curries and stuff like that. So coming up with a Manam series is really brilliant. Other convenience stores, you guys have to step up with game. You know, there are some amazing chefs that you can work with. Chef JP, Chef Edvia. If you want a Chinese series, you gotta try with E. Not being stereotypical, but you can do all kinds, but <laughs> his specialty is Chinese. Hey, Chef Chef. Let's take a look at what, what it looks like. This is actually a good portion, huh? It's, it's a good sized portion if you ask me. You can see there's eggplant, string beans, um, beef is clear, thick peanut sauce, and this is a healthy serving of rice. The bagoong is just a really small portion. Just there, bakakulang for those that like a lot of bagoong. I'm okay with just a touch. Just add a little saltiness to kind of counter the creaminess na, ano, na, na peanut sauce. So, we're gonna be firing this up in the microwave. Sabi na guy from 7-Eleven, one minute and a half to two minutes. Tapos butasin daw yung plastic to make sure na hindi lumobo. So, let's do that. Okay. There it is. Mind it. Oh yeah! Woohoo! Mind it. Okay, be careful when you're getting it because it's going to be hot. Whew. Okay, let's take out the plastic. Let's see how it was cooked. Para alam natin if we need to reheat it again. Mm, okay naman just by looking at it here. Pre-cooked naman siya, so there's no chance of it being hilaw. In fact, you don't want to overdo it because yeah, that's when your meat becomes rubbery, your gulai becomes soggy and stuff like that. Huh? But then again, remember it's a convenience store meal, so as with everything, manage expectations. Okay, let's see the beef. The kare kare sauce softened up already. That's the important part. Yeah, it looks, looks good. So let's try the individual components for now. Let's try the kare kare sauce first. Mm. <laughs> I need a spoon for this. Mm. A little sweet, nice and creamy, but don't worry about the sweetness because you've got some bago on here. No? It's meant to be mixed up. So, tama lang yan. You got what's this? Eggplant? Mm. Really well cooked. It has a bit of a crunch to it. String bean? Yeah. It's not mushy. I was expecting it to be mushy. I don't know how they were able to maintain the freshness of the vegetables. I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised. If you told me this, that this was pre-packaged from a convenience store, I would be totally shocked. I would really think you got it directly from a restaurant. But of course, the most important component is the beef. Let's give that a try. Really good. Guys, this is so good. Maybe a little salt to the beef, but I'm sure if you guys are like me, I'm planning on mixing everything into the rice with the pagoong. A little beef in the bubble mm. That's it. That is good. I'm set up, guys. It's like the beef isn't, it's a little chewy, but nothing too difficult. 
I don't think you'll have problems with tinga or anything like that. Vegetables, like I said, still have a bit of crunch, no? It didn't become soggy at all. When you mix everything up now with the with the bagoong, the bagoong is really critical, guys. Baka without the bagoong, baka nakakaumay siya ng konti. I'm pretty sure I'd be able to enjoy this even without bagoong. But the bagoong really is a game changer. It just adds a little bit more punch to it, talaga. So make sure you mix it properly into your dish. I'm planning on getting everything on this side, mixing it up into the rice later on. I'm gonna move on to the next item that I've been more excited to try. One of my favorite dishes in the world, I would say death row meal shell or something like that, is manam sisig. If not the best sisig in Metro Manila, definitely one of. Again, since this is a manam express sisig, medyo iba siya. Tikman ang malinamunang taste ng sisig, made with pork strips in manang sisig sauce, and served with steamed rice. So you find it? I was hoping this was garlic rice, but you know, I like sisig with garlic rice. I know Rina says cholesterol and all of that, but nah, masarap talaga eh. Let me read the ingredients list. Oh no, okay. In case you guys were wondering, may konting chicken liver to. Mm, I'm a big boy. I'm gonna soldier on food. Oh yes, look at that. Oh, wow, wow, wee. Looking at it, it, it's very different from the actual manam sisi. Mainly because the pork aren't bits. The pork here, they're, they're more like, dare I say it, they look more like bacon strips. I'm not sure what the logic is behind it. Is it easier for, uh, for, for a packaged meal na ganun yung cut or something? But I'm pretty sure they studied it. And they determined that this is the better way to serve it. Ooh, you can see that red chili there. Okay. So, alam natin, medyo may konti ang hang. Tikman na natin. The long awaited sisig of manam from 7 Eleven. Chef's Creations. May hirap lang isang piraso tikpan mo to get the whole thing, but since they use like a bacon cut, don't, you can't expect the crispiness. But there mga chicharon bits. That's why I was saying I want to mix it up with the rice. Guys, it's hard to You know how you when you eat sisig, lalagyan mo ng kalamansi. Eh? Here, meron na. And exactly yung pagagawa. Just mix it up uh, a little bit para uh, hindi ganun ka strong yung citrus flavor. Eh? Pero, this is pure genius guys. Manage expectations, there is no crispiness. The seasick sauce is still there, exactly the same. The play on flavors from the creaminess of the mayonnaise, then you get that light kick of acid from the vinegar and the pinakalamansi, and the savoriness of the pork. I like how they kind of mashed up the chicken liver, so I can't really make it out. I don't want to chicken liver because normally I don't eat like chicken liver. <laughs> this is phenomenal guys. An idea is, make chicharon ka, crush up some chicharon, and put it on top. If you're looking for that crunch, that's a good idea. Not just a hat rack, my friend. The Manang Express Meals, Chef Creations line, are available at 7-Eleven, and my buddy Raul from the cashier of my neighborhood 7-Eleven advised me to go in the morning because when these bad boys arrive, they're gone within an hour or so. They are the hottest item right now in 7-Eleven. Hope they add more products such as their oh my god the sinigang sa uh, watermelon beef short rib i hope they make that into uh, i don't know if it's possible but we can dream diba? and there's so many other things of manam that i love manam i love you Mwah! i love your food i'm gonna go back as soon as quarantine is over but till then i got my manam express to tide me over there you go guys, I hope you guys are keeping safe, social distancing, washing your hands, don't touch your face, don't go out if you don't need to. Ano na lang natin guys, let us minimize the people outside, let us give priority to our noble and heroic frontliners that are going out to make sure that tayo we are safe. No? So please, konting ano na lang, konting tiyaga na lang, let's get through this. 
Enjoy muna tayo sa house. The frontliners are fighting the fight for us there, outside. Let's not contribute anymore to unnecessary trouble or anything like that. Okay? Thanks, guys! Hope you enjoyed!